Matthew 24 is very important. It has to do with the burning down of Israel and the taking out of the old and the day of vengeance. But Jesus says here in, in verse 15, his own words, when you therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, whoso read, let him understand. <laughs> Now, this is a scripture that no one does understand, and it took me like 40 years before I understood it. In actual fact, I wrote exams on it, <laughs> and I never understood it, yet I got full marks. Now, read and understand is very important. We read it all over the Bible. Jesus wants us to know and understand. God doesn't want us in the dark. Now, Ephesians 3, 4 says, whereby when you read, you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. Wow. Paul comes and he says, I want you to understand the mystery. When did the mystery start open? At the cross. So what is very important that we understand time. And Ephesians 5, 17 says, Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of God is. You know, it's okay if God comes and he... He supplies and He helps you and He carries you through. But what about knowing His will, His purposes and His plans? Because we want God to come into our situation. But the only time that you're going to really mean something to the earth is when you step into His situation. And it's clear that He wants us to know these things. Paul writes also to Timothy, 2 Timothy 2.7, Consider what I say. And the Lord give you understanding in all things. So there is no excuse for us that we do not understand. God wants us to understand all things. And 1 John 5.20 says, And we know that the Son of God has come and have given us an understanding that we might know Him that is true. Oh, I love this. And we are in Him that is true even the Son of Jesus Christ. This is the true God and the eternal life. Now, if you go back to Matthew 24, Jesus says, Do not let people deceive you. Do not let people deceive you. Who will deceive you? People who are blind. Now, who are blind? Well, Jesus came preaching. And in Matthew 13, he says, Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing see not, and hearing hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which said, By hearing you shall hear and not understand, and seeing you shall see and not perceive. Now this we find in Isaiah 6. Isaiah 34 says, Search out the book, and mates will find its mates, because God and all his wisdom has commanded. This is what the Bible is all about. God wants us to know. The Bible is a history book, but it is spirit breathed. The natural mind is literally enmity with God. And when you read the spirit word, which is alive with a natural mind, you end up in a cul-de-sac. You end up in a dead end. So this is time to recalculate and turn around and find the right way. Because Jesus came and he said, I'm the way, I'm the truth, and I'm the life. And he walks through the word in the volume of the book from beginning to end. A body was prepared. The body was nailed to the cross so the spirit can enlighten us so that we can understand. We have to know and understand. Now, we don't find this more clear in the Bible than in Daniel 9, Daniel 8, and Daniel 12. And Daniel 8, 9, and 12 are maybe the most difficult chapters in the Bible to understand. But if you understand that, the whole of Revelation just explodes open. So I want us to go to Daniel nine and um, we're gonna just take it right from the beginning and you're gonna enjoy it. 